Hi everyone. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening to all of you from Luxor. Today we are here connecting to the toro, torus, the toroid, making a summary of the week of, of the physical week and closing the month of Capricorn. At least Capricorn ended. We finished with our past history and uh, all the, the work to do. So well, that's what I think. So I hope that even though the preconcept that we had of Capricorn, we have been able to enjoy it and to and have learned many things. So we are closing the month of Capricorn with the topic of organism. So first of all, let's try to make a summary of the Capricorn energy. The Capricorn energy reminds us something really important that we are trying to do every day, which is to be constant. The energy of Capricorn shows us that we have to make uh, great processes and to learn many things and that that um, never is enough, that we need to go through many things and many works in order to understand how to accomplish a goal, a purpose. So it's never enough for Capricorn and it's always about doing something better. Okay, so constancy is one of the main topics of the entire month. The important thing about this month of Capricorn uh, is constancy because it's a way to understand how the universe works. Because the, the universe is not something that has an end. It's nothing that you have to go through to accomplish something and you just finish it and that's it. The universe is a constant process, which is eternity. And that, uh, that eternity, that process of, of, uh, of eternity, means that the universe is not going anywhere, that is always in the same spot, and it's only expanding and coming back, expanding and coming back. Why? Because constants comes from the word con, that means all the things, and stan, that means stare, which is to be, to be in a place, to settle. Mm -hmm. So constant means something that is always in the same spot. That's why Capricorn teaches about constancy because it 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 says it it's, it's never enough. I will be always in the same spot, which is the process. The same spot is the process. So the universe is in constant process of knowing itself. It's an eternal process of expansion. So. The month of Capricorn is teaching us that there is no end, that there is no um, a goal in the universe, like enlightenment, like ascension, like going somewhere. Is basically to know that this is a, an eternal process, and that me myself, I am doing all this to try to expand, to understand myself, to see what am I capable of. So remember that in this expansion of the universe, we go out in so many uh, possibilities that is so wide, that is impossible, that is so easy to get lost. So that's why the universe creates patterns, creates a plan, creates all these different structures that are patterns ruled by laws, so we can find our path and not to get lost in this expansion. So that's another key for the Capricorn. This is the reason why the universe structure itself and creates all these patterns so we can use them to help us to not to get lost. So all the structures of the universe are not there to put in us in limits and like in a cage, but to guide us and to help us not to get lost. So um, 
remember that it's only when I acknowledge this that I start to use the patterns as tools and the tools are not using me. So this is why the main goal of the whole month was to learn how to use these tools of the universe. And remember, the sentence for the, 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 the sentence for this month was I use, because our goal is to learn how to use the instruments that we are. And that's the topic for today, instrument, which in Greek you may say organon. So if organon in Greek means instrument, organism, organism means the movement of the organ or the instrument, the action of the instruments. For sure you have heard this concept through religion and also through the New Age, um, that people used to say, we are instruments of God, uh, or we are the instruments of the of the universe. Hmm? For sure you have heard this sentence. So let's go into understanding why people used to say we are instruments of the divine or the, in different ways. Because as humans, we have a very distorted perception of what is an instrument. So let's go into that. First of all, let's try to understand that we as humans, we perceive the universe as the internal, myself, as a body, as my mind, and the external projected outside. So in this, in this idea of perceiving the universe, the, the reason why we perceive the universe like that is because we have eyes. So we see outside. And when we close our eyes, we see inside. So we project that everything that I see outside is, is separated from me. Because of this, I, as an individual, I can use the outside or the outside can use me. And this is born because of the polarity, the projection of polarity. In all the universe, remember, by the law of polarity, the universe projects itself in correspondence. So by this, we create polarity, positive and negative, inside and outside. So we move from the inside to the outside and we start to create by correspondence. But suddenly we start to leave this correspondence through the unconsciousness. And consciousness is the way in which the law of polarity and correspondence will be seen as duality. Duality is the unconscious way to understanding the law of correspondence and polarity, which means that instead of seeing all the different possibilities of creation, we just start to see inside, outside, or up and down, or right and left. So just that. We go from one point to another. So the concept is that the concept is that there is no, um, uh, that when we start to make like a pendulum like this once and again, it's not the law that is trapping you in this way of duality. It's your perception of the law that traps you in this reality, okay? I hope you get this because it's important. So what happens through the unconscious way of this polarity? What happened is that usually, by this law, we have to interact. To interact basically is interaction. Interaction means um, interaction means um, uh, action in between. Okay, action in between. So it means that your action is linked to all the parts. So you evolve by transformation using the forces of both sides. But when you are not inter in in doing um, in interaction, what you create is contraction. Contraction, we, we can understand contraction by instead of just moving using the force of everyone in this connection, contraction would be to go back to yourself and try to contract, to put, to put the strength in you, okay? So when you will push it again, you will use the strength against the other, believing that this is the opposite. So you fight against the other, okay? So what happens in this movement is that we create the fight, the conflict. We start to believe that the other is the opposite instead of the force that helps me evolve. Mm -hmm. This is important to understand how we create all the wars, the conflicts that we have in our lives. So this is why 
this is how the unconscious is being created. Believing that there is an external and an internal. So the unconscious is the one that believes that the external and the internal are, are one against the other instead of interacting. The unconsciousness brings us to the incoherence. And how is that? Because the unconsciousness is the one that believes that the outside and the inside is different. It's positive and negative and separated. And because of this, we start to lose connection. This connection that we are losing because we believe that things are separated are the ones that start to separate the links in between the spirit, the body, and the soul. Because we start now to disconnect ourselves from the different realities. And this is why we become incoherence. incoherence. Why is this? Because coherence means, <clears throat> means um, the, um, the transit of information from one to another. Okay? Co means in between many. And in is that there is not. So incoherence is when you have not ability to share information in between different people, different aspects. Mm -hmm. So that's incoherence, when you lose connection. So one lives in incoherence when you are disconnected from your own self. Mm -hmm. So I hope that you could understood, uh, that you could be able to understand how unconsciousness is created and how incoherence is created, okay? Otherwise you can check it again. <laughs> but once you have this, you will understand that we, when we become incoherence, incoherent and unconscious, unconscious of ourselves, because of these two concepts, we start to believe that we are disconnected to everything so the outside can control us. So what I have to do first is to control the outside before the outside can control us. So here comes this war from the individual to dominate the rest in the outside. So the individual starts to look for tools in the, in the environment to, um, to take all this all this data to take all this um, to take all these tools around in order to conquer, to put ourselves over the others, to uh, invade territories, to earn, to uh, to make slaves, um, to to make a war. Okay, because we start to fight against the environment before the environment can control us. Yes. That's the way of the unconsciousness and the incoherence. That's how it managed because it is disconnected. So it thinks that manipulating the environment will help me to survive so the environment cannot manipulate me. Here the point is that the people that is incoherent and unconscious, and, and, and what they have is this perception that they are disconnected to everything. So they had to manipulate the outside before the outside can manipulate them. Hmm? This is the origin of the human concept that everything that is outside is a tool for me to be used. Okay, that's the origin of this idea. In order to understand how the universe works, we should not see it from our own point of view, precisely. Because the people from the unconsciousness start to project the idea that, that they saw in the nature, and they said, everyone is fighting. Animals are fighting, uh, plants are fighting, we are fighting, so the universe maybe works exactly the same. But we are in the middle between the microcosmos and the macrocosmos. The macrocosmos and the microcosmos, they work kind of the same. And both of them work by polarity and magnetism. And we in the middle, we are trying to find the balance of that by duality and survival. Hmm? This is the concept 
uh, that we have to understand to to get the idea of how the universe works and how we perceive it. So, what the unconscious way of seeing humanity of seeing from humanity, the whole universe, is that we start to project the concept, the idea that if we here are disconnected and there is an outside and an inside, in the universe must be the same. There must be someone out there and then the outside. So if I myself can handle and manipulate the reality to create stuff and I can control those stuff to my own purpose, so for sure in the universe must be something, a god, that does exactly, exactly the same. I, the god, creates us, everything outside, and manipulate everything from outside for its own benefit. You understand the line? How it comes this idea? From this idea is how the collective, unconscious, incoherent humanity create the idea of a god that has a plan projecting ourselves and using us to, as tools so instruments of its own plan so we are the manipulators that created god in our own image a great manipulator But the universe creates in a very different way from our point of view. The universe doesn't create as someone, a god with a plan controlling. The universe creates from the opposite side, which is the networks, the matrix. The networks is an interaction of different aspects, like vibration that creates a particle, particles that resound and get together creating atoms and the atoms molecules and molecules, chemical elements, and the chemical elements, they create bigger structures that create organisms, which are the instruments of nature, living organisms. So what is an organic instru uh, uh, an instrument of the universe is an organic network that interact all the time, changing, evolving. The universe is basically creating itself as an instrument because the universe works by polarity. Remember that polarity comes from the Greek word came, is a pole. A pole is not two different things. Polarity is only one thing with two sides. We believe, think that these two are against each other. But these two are the same thing, connected. It's only one thing. So we create duality, thinking this concept as one being against the other. But this doesn't exist, for the universe is only one thing that we call polarity, expressing itself in different options. Hmm? In, this, in this concept, the universe is not creating from him, from it, something outside. In this concept, the universe is expanding itself outside and contracting itself within. The micro and the microcosmos. So, as just to understand this example. So, I myself has this tool, this instrument, which is a phone. Hmm? This is a phone. So, I have my phone, which is my tool. And I use this tool. And I have a plan for this tool. The plan for this tool, for this phone, I have this a plan for my phone. I don't know, maybe 20 gigas, 50 gigas, 90 gigas, 100 gigas. I don't know how many gigas you can put in a phone. Many of them. So depending on the gigas of the plan that I have, it will have better connection, something like that. So that perception is the same thing that we say, God created this tool that is a human and it has a plan for me. And depending on the gigas that I put in, the, in my human, 
I will have better connection or not. I guess that with this, we can understand very easily when we say, God has a plan for me. Now let's go to the concept of the universe to understand how the universe sees this. For the universe, from the point of view of the, of the universe, this phone is made up with atoms. It has carbon, it has iron, it has gold, it has silica, it has many atoms and structures, molecular elements that I also have in my body from different compositions maybe, in different amounts of them, but I have that too. So I'm made of carbon, the phone is made of carbon. I have some iron inside, it has some iron inside, some copper, some silica, yes, I have it too, inside. It has energy, I have energy. So from the point of view of the universe, this is not a tool outside that I use according to a plan. From the point of view of the universe, I am. And the phone is an extension of me. It's just another projection of myself. So I am not using a phone. I am using myself. So if I am using myself, this means that I will use my own tools to post in Instagram, to make a video on YouTube, but it will not be an external tool. It will be myself showing myself. It will be myself. So as you want to call it, God or the universe, it creates itself as its own universe, as, it, as its own, sorry, as, it, as its own instrument to expand itself. So once I become conscious and coherent, coherent, I will realize that everything that is outside is not used by me. Everything that is outside is just another extension of myself that I use to expand myself. In the same way as the universe expanded itself in me, so it's using me to expand even more. This is the goal of the universe. For us to understand that everything that is outside is used by me because it's myself. That the universe expanded itself through us. We are the same universe using itself. So I have to learn how to use my body, how to use my soul, how to use my spirit, the tools of my body, the tools of my soul, the tools of my spirit, the instrument that I am, that I myself created in order to expand myself. And that's, that's the goal of Capricorn, for us to understand that we are the instrument of our own self and we need to learn how to use them. If I know how to create the tool that I am, how to use the instrument that I am, I will become my own creator. This is why this whole month we have been trying to learn the origin of this, of this, um, of this body, of this instrument, because we have been learning about our history, where have been, where, uh, how have we begun as humans, uh, the, the history of our bodies, the history of our souls, to understand what is our tool. The tools that we have been uh, learning in this month, they are to understand that when we manage to, to understand, to use our own tools, we can manage our own reality, our own creation. And how can I understand what is my, my instrument? How can I use my instrument? Well, you have to picture how you see the universe. Because I don't know if you have seen, if you have perceived, 
that sometimes people say, no, the universe is this or that or that. For example, I see the universe as mine because I used to think and make much more philosophy of this. Um, so I see the universe as the mind. But here comes this other people that says, no, the universe is love. And and some uh, other people that comes and say, no, the universe is music. And other ones say the, the universe is chemicals. The other ones is the universe is, is numbers. So the universe basically is all of it. It's not one or the other. The universe is all of it. But through the tools, the instruments that we are, is able to see one of all of its aspects. So the way you see the universe is the instrument you have in order to develop the universe. So it's not about for all of us to see the universe in the same way. It's about what is your way, what is your instrument, the way you see the universe, and you will find that instrument. Okay. So we close this month of Capricorn remembering that me, myself, I am an instrument, an organ, and I use it. Let's go to the information for today and the alignment. That's the vibration for today. The statement for today is, I am the eternal essence. What, what is amazing to understand about sulfur is that usually we think is related to the underworld of the hell because it's in volcanoes and so on. So it's the fire in the, in the underground and so on. But that life uh, was born close to volcano inside the ocean. So the sulfur uh, was this chemical element that was basic to create life. And we still need it for that. So if there's any Christian here, so sorry, but basically it's, we are made out of hell and the devil. Uh, yes, kind of like that. It's the basis of the DNA. We sit comfortable, close our eyes. Concentrate in your breathing. Take a deep breath and start to massage your body from your feet to your head. Carry each part of it, being aware of it as the temple of your existence.
I recognize that my body is an organism composed by systems that is structured in patterns of polarity ruled by the laws of the universe. I recognize from my crown that I am the mind. I'm going down to my body. I recognize I am correspondence, vibration, rhythm, cause and effect, polarity, and generation. I recognize that I am the construction of the social organism. I am made up of religion, politics, education, economy, technology, culture, and agriculture. I recognize that I am the organic tissues of the body, the systems of life. I recognize in me the nervous system, circulatory, the muscles, digestive system, escutor, integumentary, endocrine, bones. My bones are the fundaments of my existence. My cells are the instruments of my creation. I recognize that all the systems, the laws, the structures, the patterns of my own body are the basis, the instrument to be used as tools for my own expansion and guidance in the universe. I perceive all of these systems aligned within me in complete coherence, connecting the body, the soul, and the spirit. As I breathe, I expand up and down all this process, all the systems, 
in the shape of a torus surrounding me, designing around my own structure of existence. Take a deep breath and with your vibration, activate the system that makes you be. eternal essence I am the eternal essence I am the eternal essence I am the instrument of my own creation I am the instrument And I use myself, I use, I use. instrument I use this earth to bring its light to heaven start to bring this consciousness throughout all my body, my caressing, stretching, and each one at its own time, come back here and now. Thank you. 
So thank you everybody for being here. And tomorrow we begin with a new music, with a new sound, and a new month bringing this earth to the heavens, starting with Aquarius. See you tomorrow at the same time as always.